So Joe Biden's going to announce he's going to be running again for president in 2024. How is he doing the announcement? I'm, I'm not making this up. Video. Video. I, I was joking around this weekend. I was like, what is the over under on the amount of takes that they needed to do for this Joe Biden announcement? The reason why he can't do it live, uh, quite frankly, is he, he can't do it live. They'd be afraid he would just screw it up. So they got to make sure that they get it right. Joe Biden announcing for president. Take 24. Anyway, some of the, the craziest poll numbers I've ever seen. Um, I, again, I, I follow this stuff. I mean, I'm, I don't get too into the polls, especially early. Um, but I, I can't remember a time like this. And, you know, you know, listen, if you, you know, can send me an email, let me know if you can recall when it was this odd, when it came to a, you know, the two leading uh, contenders on both sides and, and how the fact that the country doesn't want either of them. You got a new poll here. Let's start with Biden. 70%. 70% of the country doesn't think Biden should run again. Three out of four Americans hoping that he changes his mind. Um, 69% cite age. 48% calling it a major reason. Uh, again, people people see him out there on the stump, and they obviously see what's going on. But, you know, let's be honest here. Um, when you have 70% of the country, we talked about this last week, 70% of the country is unhappy about the economy. 70%. Again, that should be a... You, the, the layup of layups... Okay, for Republicans, piece of cake, piece of cake, easy layup right there. Nobody's playing you. You should be able to win this. No problem whatsoever. But they were supposed to do the same thing in 2020 and they missed the layup. They missed the layup. And that's I'm sorry. Again, I'm going to get the uh, the super MAGA Trumpsters out there all upset with me here. Um, 44%. 44% of Republicans don't want, 44% of Republicans don't want Donald Trump to run. 44%. Um, and if you look further into this, um, independence as well, um, not, not a fan. Not a fan. I mean, some of the other polls I'm looking at, 78% of Democrats said they approve of the job Joe Biden is doing. 81% um, say they'll lean toward voting for him. Again, that's you know just checking their boxes rather than thinking things through. Um, but uh, don't tell me that, that they wouldn't want to have a more viable candidate. Um, again, I, you look at these numbers, and I, I can't think of a time where you see the two major candidates as unpopular as this, these two are. I, I really have a difficult time recalling this. And again, this is, this is an issue now with the Republican Party. We've almost uh, becoming almost like a European-style, you know, parliamentary type of a situation where you've got different factions of the parties out there that are trying to dictate terms. Um, Again, I found it fascinating. I said Donald Trump and some of his latest attack ads um, claiming that Florida is not a great place to live. Actually using clips from MSNBC, Joy Reid, bashing the state of Florida. There's actually some people were suggesting they're raising money uh, to get Trump to move out of the state where he happens to live. Um, I I'm telling you what's going to happen right now is Donald Trump is going to run to the left. He is going to run to the left of the rest of the field. He, he knows that area. He's a, de he's a former Democrat, for crying out loud. And he's going to adopt any position that, that he feels is going to help him win. And, and that's just the reality. You're, you're seeing this already. Starting to move to the left. And uh, again, this is what we're getting right now. Again, I, I'll watch um, yeah, prediction. Republicans will screw it up. Republicans will miss another layup. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.